Bank South Pacific has again recorded a consolidated operating profit after tax of 331.9 million kina for the 2015 financial year. This is an increase of about 4.8 per cent from the 2014 operating profit of 507.3 million kina. The positive performance comes despite the slowdown in the country's economy. BSP's Chief Executive Officer, Robin Fleming, said this when, re- when presenting the group's 2015 full-year report in Port Moresby today. Gregory Moses reports. Mr. Fleming says the group revenue has also increased by 3.2% during the year from interest income streams from loans and advances, while their assets has also increased by $2.4 billion to $18.19 billion due to the acquisition of Westpac branches in the Pacific. He says BSP's loan book has also grown by 27.6% due to the additional income from their new acquisitions, despite reductions in revenue from foreign exchange at 267 million kina, 279 million kina, due to market condition changes. Cook Island, Samoa, Solomons, Tonga and Fiji have all contributed to our profit result. Fiji increased their profit from around 20 odd million dollars to almost 30 million dollars, which is a which was a great improvement, particularly at a time when they were undergoing a a core system upgrade which was implemented in September. Therefore, notwithstanding some management distractions, they were able to ensure that the core business continued to to operate and and ensure that our profitability contribution from that particular country was strong. Mr Fleming also says that the bank's growth was positive with after-tax profits reducing slightly, with total bank assets standing at 17.12 billion kina at the end of 2015, and loans and advances to customers climbing by 1.4 billion kina to 8.1 billion kina. He adds that customer deposits mainly in the retail and government sectors in PNG and the corporate sector in Fiji has allowed the group to witness a steady growth from 11.3% to 14.2 billion kina, and they are using that to improve staff capacity as well as their other services. We we'll also continue to reinvest in our businesses and reinvesting in our staff and leadership capabilities. Next weekend, the 19th, 20th, we've got our leadership group from all around the Pacific coming to Port Moresby, 200 odd staff to go through a forum with us, discuss the 2015 outcome and, and how we can continue to improve the 2016 result. We also invest a considerable amount of time and effort in the leadership development program, which now has 35 staff from around the Pacific. The CEO also says that BSP is continuing to be a major contributor to nation building through its established network of 44 branches and sub-branches around the country and is one of the highest tax-paying organisations who pays about 10% in taxes to the national government. Gregory Moses, NBC National News, Port Moresby.